100. You know why? They looked at the polls and they decided we're not going to play there. So next week is Nevada, a great state, and uh, DeSanctimonious just announced he's pulling out of Nevada. A pretty empty crowd in Manchester, New Hampshire, where Donald Trump was giving a speech on Saturday. You saw there people leaving the crowd during this very low energy speech. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Donald Trump's cognitive condition continues to rapidly deteriorate before our eyes. We watch him delivering these speeches and each one being more unhinged, but also he seems more just physically and mentally unwell. But here's what Donald Trump had to say to the crowd in Manchester, New Hampshire, right? 24 hours after Donald Trump gave that speech where he short-circuited and said, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley. I gave Nikki Haley 10,000 troops for January 6th. And like, I don't know what he's even talking about there. Donald Trump says in Manchester that he does that on purpose, and that's part of his master plan. Here, play this clip. But I don't do it because what they do is, if I'm sarcastic, or like I, a lot of times I'll say, and President Obama is doing a lousy job, meaning that Obama's running the show. They'll say, Donald Trump doesn't know who our president is. No, no. Because cognitively, you know, I don't know if you saw it, but a few months ago, I took a cognitive test my doctor gave me. I said, give me a cognitive test just so we can, you know, because you know what the standards were. And I aced it. I also took one when I was in, but I also took one when I was in the White House. No, I'll let you know when I go bad. I really think I'll be able to tell you because someday we go bad. But you know, I've had, and they always say like, like Haley, she talks about, yeah, we don't need 80 year old. Well, I don't mind being 80, but I'm 77. That's a big difference. And by the way, did you hear Donald Trump there in that clip brag about passing another cognitive test two months ago? He sure takes a lot of cognitive tests. It makes you wonder. But here Donald Trump uh, calls climate climb. He goes, the climb, the climb. Play this clip. And by the way, they don't work well in cold weather. And they don't go far. That's true. They don't go far. But it's certainly not uh, great for your climb, your climb, they call it climate. In this clip, Donald Trump compares himself to rogue cops. And that's why he says he deserves absolute immunity. And then he uses the same language to threaten former Vice President Mike Pence saying, I hope Pence has the courage. He uses that language about the Supreme Court here. Play the clip. Go back to being a country of law and order have to do it and you will have very seldom but you will have the rogue we call it the rogue cop the bad apple and perhaps you'll have that also with president but there's nothing you can do about that you're going to have to give the president you're going to have to allow a president any president to have immunity so that that president can act and do what he feels and what his group of advisors feel is the absolute right thing. Otherwise, you're going to have presidents that are totally impotent. And we've had enough of them already. We've had enough of them already. So having immunity is so important. And I hope the Supreme Court has the courage to do that, because otherwise you're just not going to be in a very strong position very long. It'll totally change our country, in my opinion. That's how bad it and by the way, you remember when District Court Judge uh, David Carter in uh, the Central District of California said that what Donald Trump was engaged in on January 6th was a coup in search of a legal theory? What you're hearing right there is Donald Trump uh, engaged in a dictatorship in search of a legal theory right there. Here's more pressuring by Donald Trump of the United States Supreme Court and specifically those justices who he appointed. There's nothing normal or OK about this, folks. Play the clip. Upheld in the United States Supreme Court. We have three great new justices and we have some very good justices on the court. I hope the Republican justices are willing to uh, do things right, you know. A Democrat put in, let's say, by Obama or Biden, they're down and dirty. They'll just say, nope, nope, I'm voting the way that guy wants. A Republican, they want to show that they can't be bought. 
that the fact that you put them there and made their lives, took them from some place where they were doing quite well. But you know what? They want to go out of their way to be politically correct. This country has to do things right. They cannot worry about political correctness anymore. They can't do it. They have to do things right. Here, Donald Trump, instead of saying poisoning, says poisoning. Play the clip. To stop the deadly drugs that are poisoning and pouring into our country, poisoning our people. Oh, it's not a Donald Trump speech without him praising Viktor Orban, the authoritarian leader of Hungary, which has an entire GDP of about 180 billion, which is less than the annual revenue of many American corporations. And Hungary also has 20% uh, inflation. Uh, also, Viktor Orban is kind of a clown in Europe, but this is Donald Trump's view and MAGA's view of, uh, of a strong man, a weak man like Donald Trump. Play the clip. There's a great man, a great leader in Europe, Viktor Orban. He's the, he's the prime minister of Hungary. He's a very great leader, very strong man. Some people don't like him because he's too strong. It's nice to have a strong man running your country, but he... Here, Donald Trump doesn't know how to say dignitary, so he says dignity. Play the clip. Capital and the safest capital anywhere in the world. No, but can you imagine you're a foreign dignity and you're coming into the United States? Oh, yes. And a Donald Trump speech, one of the big rallying calls to the MAGA base is to attack NATO. Play the clip. They should at least equalize. I did that with NATO. We were paying and they weren't. We're defending them and we're paying the bills. And I said, nope. Unless you, they asked me, does this mean that if Russia attacks us, you will not defend us? I said, are you paid up? Well, let's say we're not, then I'm not defending you. And the money came pouring in. Donald Trump talks about lockboxes, something about lockboxes. Somehow this relates to him whining about the 2020 election. Play the clip. They spent more than $400 million in 2020 trying to defeat me and to elect crooked Joe Biden with all those lockboxes, you know, with all those tapes watching the lockboxes and then the judges don't want to do anything about it. It's terrible. Going to the legislatures, getting rejected and then going back and doing whatever the hell they wanted. They got rejected by the legislatures, then they went in and did whatever they wanted to do. It's terrible. Here, Donald Trump curses about the 2020 election. Yep, we're in January 2024, Donald Trump just cursing. Just cursing about the uh, 2020 election. Play the clip. The election turned out the way it turned out. We got more votes than any sitting president in history, and we lost by a whisker. Bullshit, okay? <laughs> Bullshit. Here, Donald Trump just kicked somebody out of the crowd, and as he kicks the person out here, take a look at this crowd. You see many, many empty seats. Play this clip. I got, who is this? Is he a friend? You can get him out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go ahead, you can throw him out. that politics is getting serious. So now we know we're getting serious now. He's just a disturbed person. Remember that used to happen all the time. People used to call for it. Where is that? We want it back. But no, probably we're, we're really now into political season and that is happening. It's happening. And here Donald Trump talks about that they, he, he ran everything he says in 2016, whatever the heck that means, play the clip. You can't, as, as it, now we have to do it like in 2016, we ran the entire East Coast, we ran the Midwest, we ran everything and we won. That was a surprise. They said, we'll never let that happen again. They don't want to let that happen again. And they'll cheat and they'll do whatever they have to do. And the biggest thing we have to do, we cannot let them cheat on election period. We used to call it election day. It should be back to election day, but we have to say election period. 
And as we previously have reported, Nikki Haley going on the offense uh, in her speeches in New Hampshire, calling out Donald Trump's cognitive decline. Play the clip. And then you have Trump. And last night, something happened that has happened multiple times. He was on a temper tantrum about me, which is fine. He does that often. But he went on and talked about how I kept the, the police from going into the Capitol on January 6th. Went on and repeated that I didn't do anything to secure the Capitol. Let's be clear. I wasn't in the Capitol on January 6th. I wasn't in office on January 6th. He mentioned it three times. He got confused. He got confused and said he was running against Obama. He never ran against Obama. Don't put our country at risk like this. Folks, please leave a comment below about what you think about what you just watched. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 2 million subscribers on the Midas Touch YouTube channel. Um, and if you want to support the types of independent uh, uh, reporting we do here, you can go to patreon.com slash Midas Touch. Have an excellent day. Hit subscribe. It's free. And share these videos with as many people as possible. We need to get the word out. I'm Ben Micellis. Have a great day. At Midas Touch, we are unapologetically pro-democracy, and we demand justice and accountability. That's why we're spreading our message to Convict 45. That's right, gear up right now with your Convict 45 tees and pins at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.